think I'm gonna start shooting my videos every morning. It's kind of just easier that way. I'm usually pretty tired when I get into the hostel and I want to shower and everything and so um, it's more convenient in the morning. Plus, it, you know, everyone who does watch these gets to see the nice morning light. The, so that's a benefit. Unless I leave before dark and then, well, you know, you won't see as much, which is fine. So yesterday was probably my favorite day so far. And funnily enough, it, it was actually raining. It was the first day that I've had rain. And, uh, what I loved about it was just, it was really wild. And the beaches were in little coves with these rocky mountains rising right out of them. And the mist and clouds that were rolling in off the Cantabrian Sea were just coming with a bit of rain, kind of Vancouver rain, nothing too heavy. Uh, but... It was a really beautiful day. I walked barefoot for about half the day because it was, the the route took us on quite a few beaches. And uh, last night stayed in this cute little house behind me. And uh, it was run by, and here's the countryside, uh, it was run by this Hungarian uh, crew. And they they really treated us really well. They had amazing food for us. Uh, they they made this pumpkin soup that was that was awesome. It was so good. And then we had uh, some uh, rice with a, a tomato sauce, and the tomato sauce was really great as well. And so the people too last night. I mean, the Camino. I think any walk can be really beautiful. Obviously. But just like in life, it's who we do it with, who we meet along the way. And and that's what I'm finding is the most interesting is that the Camino is a little microcosm of the world. There's there's people from every corner of it and you run into some and you stay longer with some than others. And, and um, you know, you have some good conversations and everyone has a similar goal, but uh, all come from different backgrounds and... It's cool to hear the different accents and different languages and different stories. And so the the meals at the end of the night are really, I mean, meals are always one of my favorite, let, let's be honest. But along the way, it's really a time where you can share and, and hear other people's stories and other people's experiences in life and on the Camino. And so that's been something I really enjoyed. Last night was a fun group. Uh, Irish couple, a German couple, a uh, Danish girl, two French friends, and an Israeli girl. And so a uh, good group of people, and it was, it was fun to share a good meal with them. And this little house was really a beautiful hostel, one of the best ones I've stayed, the best one I've stayed in yet. And... Uh, yeah, this Cantabrian countryside is a great backdrop for this big story of life of the Camino. And uh, today I head into Santander, which is the capital of Cantabria. A bit bigger place, it's 200,000 people, so some more of the uh, people and amenities that you're used to, I guess. And uh, looking forward to that. It's a shorter day, about... 15k today. Yesterday I did about 30-ish, uh, around 30, 35, I can't remember, but felt pretty good. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching and cheers.